Hello Internet! In this video we are going to talk a little bit about the new World of Zero website, which isn't released yet, uh, and specifically we're going to be looking at uh, one of the components that I'm using to actually make this whole thing work, as it's used to create this whole video list, uh, and that's ASP.NET Razor Pages. And so what Razor Pages allows you to do is this. Uh, it allows you to, say, embed a C-sharp code into your, into your web page, into your HTML. And then prior to actually sending this out to a client, the server renders this, evaluates what this ought to be, and then ends up sending that new rendered version off to the client. And so in my case, uh, what this means for all of those videos is I have a set of view models here, an innumerable set of view models, and those are returned from my controller. And then using that, I'm able to actually iterate over each of those and create a new uh, video playlist for each of those. Uh, I also have one for a randomized feature but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so the way this works is we're just going to kind of screw around with this for now. Uh, I don't know if this is the best idea, but uh, the code's already here, so we're just going to kind of look at it. And so the way this works is at. Um, if you have Razor Pages enabled, typing at is going to syntax highlight it uh, as code. And so by putting brackets around it, we're able to say define a variable. So let's say uh, greeting. This is just, uh, this is going to be just super basic stuff um, that you can do pretty much any, any C sharp stuff that you would normally do works here. So we have this greeting here. Now, if we want to use that, we can just embed that. <coughs> we can embed that into our web page. Uh, so this is another poor use of everything that we're doing, but oh well. Let's create a, another section here uh, with a container. Uh, so the container is just a class that actually centers everything. It gives it into the center. Uh, and then let's just stick this into uh, a paragraph. And let's just say here is the greeting and we'll just say at greeting. And so what this does is it is going to say, it's going to parse this and say here is the greeting and then take this at greeting, figure out that, that is actually referencing this variable up here and pull that out and so what we should see here is instead of here is this here is the greeting at greeting, it should say here is the greeting hello world. Uh, so if I go here, it should automatically update. So I just need to refresh here, uh, and there we go. Kind of jump past it, but there's our basic uh, rendering. And so you can do this for any C sharp code. Uh, so I kind of mentioned that I had been using this model. None of this stuff uh, comes with it. Uh, there's actually a, a view model uh, or a title that is default. Here it is. Uh, and so by default, this usually pulls in uh, the name of the page. Since this is kind of a single page, uh, that's not really necessary. So I've kind of taken that out. Uh, but you can, you can do whatever you want with that. Uh, so I'm using it to pretty much just draw everything and kind of make this somewhat uh, uh, reactive and kind of build up all of those videos, add them all to the list without having to do that in JavaScript on the client side with like Angular or something because I tried that and the code got huge uh, and there's no reason to do that when we, there's only 200 videos that we're sending and it, this is how much code I really needed. So instead of doing all of that overkill, we just wrap it in this for each and we're done. So really what I can do <coughs> to kind of continue this whole demonstration is let's do a 
uh, ordered list. Sure. And then for each, uh, let's do a four. Four int i from i equals zero to i less than 10. So let's create 10 list elements. And then we're just going to iterate over these and let's create a list item and say element i. And so the, the, we this way, we're effectively creating a for loop over 10 elements and it should create us just a list that will be 10 things, I'm hoping. Uh, kind of making this up, so we may be in this situation. Ah, uh, what could have gone wrong here? Spaces? In general, uh, this syntax does not appreciate spaces. Now, specifically this syntax. You're fine with spaces up here when you're using these, uh, when everything, all your code is in brackets. Uh, but where, when you're doing this inline stuff, when you start sticking spaces in there, the spaces will stop uh, that interpretation. So it no longer is part of that. So if I had a, like a period here and I may need to reference something else, that's not going to happen. Uh, or if there's some continuation or some additional feature that I want, uh, we'd need to do another at or join it in some other way or pre-compute it or whatever. Uh, so it's not it's not exactly the same as like C sharp in line, but it's pretty close, which makes it really easy to kind of generate these uh, web pages on the fly. Uh, I find it a lot easier than like ASP.NET or not ASP.NET. That's what we're using. Um, then like Angular. Um, and I would assume it's easier than the other ones. Uh, I haven't really tried React or uh, what are the other ones? I don't even know. But I haven't really played that much with them, but I don't imagine they're easier than this. So that's sort of the advantage that I see. And also it's all done on the server side. So even if they don't, if your client doesn't have JavaScript, this stuff is all still going to work. Uh, so that's another advantage, I guess. So yeah, I, I, I don't really know what else to, what else to show here. Uh, I usually use it as simply a way to inject this kind of stuff. Uh, one thing we can go through is here is our, this is not right. Yeah, it is. Okay. So how all of this information works, that view model you saw, we had it bound to a model. The way that's working is we're actually binding it to the return value of this task. Uh, so this view has a model that is an I enumerable video view model. So we don't actually need this. That's not right. Uh, but we do not actually need that. Uh, where was it here? This model, we don't strictly need that. Uh, what's the easiest way to get rid of that? Delete. I don't really want to delete it, but okay. So if we delete that, theoretically everything should still work. Uh, it's mostly for type safety and you'll get, uh, IntelliSense. No, you won't. Doesn't work. Okay. So it doesn't know what functions to call when you don't give it a type. Uh, I believe everything should still work though. If you're not doing that, if you're just referencing the values, it, I think it works. I, I would personally recommend just sticking this model and having it match whatever is returned because then everything just makes way more sense. Uh, but I don't think it's required ex unless you're doing stuff like I'm doing. Uh, so what I'm doing here is the first video in that, or the, so the most recent video, uh, we want to open to that. And so that's what this code is doing is it's grabbing the, from the model, we're grabbing the first video in the list and then taking the video ID of that uh, to actually render it. And so this uh, specific thing returns an ordered list of all the videos sequentially in time. 
which is why that works. Uh, so yeah. And then down here, we do something very similar, but we actually loop through everything and just kind of push them into a list, which then we use for selecting a random video. Uh, if you click, well, that's not going to work, is it? No, it's not. Yes, there we go. Okay, so there's our list. I don't know why that was gone again. But uh, this button here does just a random list. It picks a random thing. Uh, so it gets you a random video from everything that I have published on this thing. So that's how that whole thing is working. It's kind of, if you actually look at the JavaScript, it's kind of gross. Uh, but for now, it actually works. So we'll, but again, this is kind of, I kind of viewed this as sort of a stepping stone. Uh, I didn't really want to, implementing Angular was not the minimum viable product for this. Uh, and I kind of wanted to get it out sooner than that. So what we ended up doing was actually just doing razor views, uh, which made it all really fast. Uh, one other thing to note, there's an inline syntax, which is this at colon, which means uh, you're saying there is going to be something inline, uh, which, so this doesn't work. But if I make, if I say there is an inline at by doing at colon, uh, it actually, this part is actually JavaScript. This is literally just saying JavaScript dot push. Uh, so take a JavaScript array and push some value onto it. You can't just render your, uh, your innumerable type into a JavaScript array. That doesn't work. Unfortunately, I tried that. You'll get some random uh, null object that JavaScript has no idea how to handle. Uh, so don't do that. <laughs> but this way, it actually creates the whole thing and pushes it on. Uh, so we can actually take a look quick at what that's doing. I don't know exactly how well this is going to look, but we can we can see maybe. Uh, so here is our ordered list. You'll see it's exactly what you would expect. It's just a list element with element zero, one, two, three, four, etc., uh, and then just does its thing. Uh, if we go to our video IDs, that thing that I was showing you, we have uh, exactly everything except we have these actual video IDs which are coming from YouTube. Uh, so the, this project integrates with the YouTube API, pulls down all of those videos, and then adds each ID to this list. So instead, it, unfortunately, I couldn't find a way to actually create the array with just all of these things in it. So we actually have to push each of them which is a little bit gross. Uh, but after it does that, then we can just do, call these functions and everything's good. So that's that. Uh, I, I don't, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover here. It's, it's super simple. It's not complicated at all. If you know C sharp, you'll get this pretty quickly. Um, but the cool thing is, is it kind of brings that uh, scripting into your UI, which can obviously be abused beyond any recognizable uh, thing that it should ever be. But if you're just using it for like building your UI, like you want to build a list of something that's being returned dynamically from one of your services, you can do that with this, uh, which is a little bit harder to do with just JavaScript or just uh, HTML. It doesn't come out as clean. So this kind of gives you a way to do that. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to introduce razor views in this video. So I'll leave that here. And if you guys have any questions uh, or you want me to cover anything more about this, let me know in the comments and I will definitely do that. We're going to be looking a lot more into web dev. I'm going to be doing a few more videos on tweaking this because there's obviously some more things that I want to add to this. Uh, we're going to be migrating it to Angular, I believe. Uh, and then there's also some other web projects that I have in the works. So there may be more of that. Uh, but if you guys have any other feedback uh, that would make these videos better, or you just, I don't know, want to want to say something, drop that in the comments as well, and I will definitely take a look. But uh, that's it for this video. So 
Until next time, see internet.